Vice President Yusuf Kala has launched a residual fluid catalytic cracking facility at Pertamuna's plant in Chilachup, central Java. RFCC is a refining process that breaks down crude oil into more valuable derivatives, and it's projected this facility will help cut Indonesia's import bill by 5 to 6 percent. Kala says the Cilacap RFCC is a big step on the long road to making Indonesia energy self-sufficient. Increased fuel production by state oil and gas firm Pertamina is crucial if it hopes to meet continuously increasing domestic demand. Pada masa lalu kita memproduksi minyak dan mengekspor minyak. Sekarang sebahagian kita impor. Tapi kita berharap dengan kerja keras ini, upaya ini, segala pasal ini akan memberikan kita upaya swasembada dan memenuhi kebutuhan dalam negeri baik dari segi uh, prosesnya juga tentu bahagian-bahagian lain daripada uh, industri hilir daripada proyek-proyek kita yang hadir di sini. The RFCC project cost almost 850 million dollars. It broke ground in 2011 and was developed by a consortium that includes state-owned builder Adikaria and South Korea's Gold Star. It will produce high-octane more gas component, HOMC, and liquid petroleum gas. HOMC production is hoped to reach 37,000 barrels per day, LPG 1,066 tons per day, and propylene plastic 430 tons per day. The capacity is expected to save Indonesia 5 to 6 percent on its import bill every year. In a separate project, Pertamina in Saudi Arabia's Aramco, which works on the Chilacha plant, have signed a heads of agreement, a non binding document, to increase capacity there. It's a part of a master plan for developing Indonesia's refining capacity, and it's allotted $5.5 billion in investment. Produk tambahan yang dihasilkan dari kerjasama ini meliputi pertama kron 92 sebesar 42 barel per hari atau 1,2 juta barel per bulan. After sebesar 40 ribu barel per hari atau 1,2 juta barel per bulan. Solar sebesar 60 ribu barel per hari atau 1,8 juta barel per bulan. Produk aromatik sebesar 752 ton per hari atau 22.560 ton per bulan. Polypropylene sebesar 472 ton per hari atau 14.166 ton per bulan. Dengan tenaga kerja yang akan diserap pada saat proyek sebanyak sekitar 20.000 dan operasional sekitar 750 orang. Devisa yang dihemat dengan proyek RDMP ini, Bapak Wapres kami laporkan sekitar 10.5 juta US dollar per hari. That project is set to go operational in 2021.